whether you are watching this now or at a later time. I wanted to hop on here and um, <clears throat> kind of go over our current photo booth rental prices. It's a long, it's a lot of stuff to go over because we don't do, um, you know, for the photo booth business. For the photo booth business, I don't really have a traditional type of rental prices. Your typical photo booth owner has package one, package two, package three, right? Where it's basically only thing changing in the packages obviously is the price, but when the price increases, it's usually an hour increase as well. So <clears throat> let's just start off. Let's just start this off with, uh, for my rental prices, we have three different options. We have the photo booth pickup option. That's when clients come to us, they put the photo booth equipment in their car, they take off, they set it up, they break it down, they bring it back, right? That is a digital only experience. So that is option one. And I'll go over more of the prices later too. So the option two for the rental prices is the photo booth drop off. That's where we take our equipment. We go to the event, we set it up, we leave. People use it while we're gone. And at the end of the rental term, we go, we pick it up and we leave. That is option two. The third option is the print package. That is the third one. That's where we go to the venue. We set up the booth. We typically used to stay, but now we no longer stay at the events. We are doing a drop off, but that is an hourly rate. So for the option one, the pickup, and then the option two for the photo booth drop off, we aren't there. That is the passive way to do it. And now for the third option, we are not there as well either. So the only time we'll stay is if the customer requests us to stay, but we're charging an extra $50 an hour for that just so we can get paid for our time. So the pickup option, let's talk about the prices, right? You guys can do this too. This isn't just, you know, I understand I have a store and it's a little bit easier for me to have people come here, but I know plenty of people that I've helped, you know, not plenty. I have about four, I guess you can say students that do the pickup and they actually have their clients meet them at a local business, usually a Starbucks or a bank. Um, one second. And here are the prices. This is something, honestly, I really do hope more people start doing the pickup because it's a game changer. It's the easiest way to get leads because we have a 199 all day, all night digital photo booth package and we are using the Digibooth. You guys can buy one on our website, photobooth101.com, and it's a $1,400 photo booth. The iPad we throw in there is about 400 bucks. So altogether, $2,000, and we are doing just the photo booth, right? The ring light, the stand, the iPad, the software. That 199, it's only for the photo option meaning no GIF, no boomerang, no extras. We're charging them $50 for us to activate that. Also, if they want a template, we're charging $20 for the template. So we are nickel and diming every little upgrade because, you know, I want to be able to promote 199, but you know, with the upgrades, we're probably averaging around 300 bucks per rental. So um, a backdrop, it's $75 for the pickup option. The prop table, $50. If they want to use our Jackery, right, our battery pack, that is a $75 fee. The red carpets with the poles, uh, the stanchions, that is an additional $100. So we are able to literally, like, think about this. If you have a, uh, if you start offering a pickup option, wow, we got 16 people here in the live. <laughs> Shout out to everybody watching. Um, if you start offering a pickup option where they come to you, they do all of the hard work and you have it at 199, you are setting yourself up for success for two reasons. One, your competition is gonna struggle to compete with you. There's no way someone else is gonna bring a photo booth, provide the service and undercharge and do it for 200 bucks. Not many people are willing to do that. Option two, right? Um, think about this. Why is it gonna help you? The second way it's gonna help you if you have a customer that's like, hey, can I get a discount? Which every single photo booth owner is gonna have. People saying that, oh, my budget is this, my budget is that. Instead of you saying, yeah, sure, we'll do the two hours of prints with a $200 discount. You could say, well, your budget looks like your, with your budget, the option that I would recommend, it's the pickup option. It's actually gonna save you $100 because it'll be under your budget. 
So you kind of have a, a, a response for those customers that are penny pitching. So you guys, as always in the comments right now, I really want to know, we got 14 people watching. Where are you watching from? What state? Shout out your area. I would love to know where you guys are watching from. But <clears throat> the pickup photo booth rental, it's going to change the game. And a lot of people are scared to do it. And when people are scared to do something, there's an opportunity there. Marietta, love it, love it. Um, so yeah, yeah. Um, there's such an opportunity here. And if you can... If you can see the opportunity and, and start doing the photo booth pickup, you will be in on a gold mine. We are crushing it. I mean, most of our rentals now are pickups. So uh, DJ Res1 commented, New Jersey. Shout out to NJ, New Jersey. Love it, love it, love it. So um, that is the pickup prices. If you just tuned in, I just went over the prices for the pickup photo booth. And it's a digital only, no prints. However, some people will want prints with that option and we just don't do it. The print, adding the printer to a pickup option would be way too much. A lot of people would struggle and it's just, it's not worth doing. So the next option is the photo booth drop off. We are charging a minimum of $300 for the photo booth only. No GIF, no boomerang, no video, just the photo. Template is included. Um, if they, uh, Obviously, we have a delivery and setup fee. That's where we're charging the $75 minimum delivery and setup fee. And I want to make this clear, you guys. I am not charging per mile. Because if you live in a, a big... Uh, Roman is saying hi from Slovenia. Love it, man. Shout out to Slovenia. If, you, um, if, if you're running a photo booth business and you're charging per mile, what happens if you're in a really dense area where five miles on a Saturday takes you an hour? you're gonna be screwed, you know? Like, charge for your time, you're better off doing that, you know? I mean, if I wanted to get paid per miles, maybe we would Uber or something, but like, I'm not interested in, you know, the mile, the miles, I'm interested in the time. So, um, yeah, the we, we go from 75 all the way up to 150. So, um, for, the, for that option, the drop-off, you know, $75 if they wanna activate the um, if they want to activate the boomerang GIF and video, 75 bucks. If they want to rent one of our backdrops, that is an additional hundred dollars to rent. Um, what else here? The battery pack, the little Jackery portable battery pack. We charge $75 for our customers to use that. The gold poles, like you see here with the red ropes, we buy those on Amazon. Um, those with the red carpet, that's a hundred dollars. Uh, $150. We also have a guaranteed online gallery where we're charging customers $50 for them to, to have an online gar gallery guaranteed up to one year. So that is something we've made up, but I typically give that out for free to all my customers to add value, to make them feel like um, they're getting, you know, they're getting something out of it, which they are. We're giving it to them for free because we're guaranteeing it. What's up with the new iPads? Um, what do you mean exactly, Joe? What's up? In, in what way? Um, we got Martin here. Which Jackery do you use? I need one for this weekend. Yes, sir. Martin, use um, the Jackery Explorer 1000. Um, we have that one linked. If you go to my last video that I uploaded, look in the description. You'll see the link to the one that we use. 100%, man. Get that battery pack. It's worth it. It'll power your ring light with your iPad if you have one of our boots. Um... 15, 16 hours and still have a little bit of charge. We've also, um, I think a couple weeks ago, we ran the off that battery pack, the ring light, the iPad, a laptop and a printer um, for three and a half hours. And we still have like 60% left. So that battery pack is more than enough. And I think you can get it for like 650 right now on Amazon. Um, Vanessa saying she's watching from Pennsylvania. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So um, back to the pricing. We do everything a la carte, right? Every single thing is a la carte for our packages because I want my customers to feel like, you know, my rental customers, that they're getting the best value. And if you bundle things in packages and, you know, every single package includes a backdrop, what do you do for those clients that, you know, have their own backdrop? Are you going to lower the price? Do you, you know, like, are you going to be flexible there? 
and um, I don't know, it's worked for us. There's a lot of clients that have their own backdrops. I would say nowadays, maybe 30% of our clients, 20 to 30% have their own backdrop. So if they're not adding it to their pa to their upgrades, they feel like they're getting a better deal because they're only paying for what they're using. Um, then we have our, our print price. This is something that it's gonna be um, unheard of. Not a lot of you guys are familiar with it, but we're doing now the drop off with the printer. Uh, I think we have it set to 500 for two hours. Um, that's just for the booth and the printer. The backdrop, 100 bucks. Prop table, 50. Boomerang GIF video, extra 75. You know, same thing with the red carpet, the poles. So we are doing a drop off and um, I'll be more than happy to answer any other questions. That's pretty much the pricing. So for the drop off digital and the drop off print, the delivery set fee is the same. So. Uh, DJ Dr. D, what's the best photo booth for starting the business and um, what is the best, pli best place to buy from? Man, DJ D, uh, PA DJ here. Bro, you're in the perfect, this is the perfect live for you. So I am actually in our store. We actually sell photo booths. This is photo booth 101. Hands down, <clears throat> I'm gonna show you the best photo booth on the market. It is our newest model from um, the deluxe line. And I'm gonna show you why this is the best booth. So this right here is uh, the Deluxe Duo, iPad-based photo booth. So this booth was literally four years in the making, right? Took the longest time to make sure that this booth had every single thing that I wanted in an iPad photo booth. So this is where your iPad would be displayed. So we have a key here in the back to open up the door for you to place your iPad in and out easily. Most other photo booth companies require, you know, you to dismantle the ring light and disassemble the photo booth. Well, this is easy access. So you can get it in and out, no problem. Then you want to lock it up. It's hard to do with one hand. Hold on. So when you want to lock it up, you just put the key just like that. You turn it, take it out. And this is the Deluxe Duo, so you can also rotate it. This is huge. We had an event two weeks ago where the customer literally had like three backdrops in a row with balloons at the end. So being able to rotate it will get allow you to have a wider shot. But this isn't why I'm saying this is the best booth. It's those two functions, yes. Also, man, no tools needed. Just nine of these screws with your thumb. This entire photo booth, right, your moneymaker, fits in this travel case right here. Four wheels, you can put more stuff on it. So you literally just throw this in your car with your other DJ equipment. You roll into your venue, you set it up in five minutes, then you go do your DJ thing. You don't have to worry about it. This is what I love about this booth too. It's beautiful, it's elegant. You have the mirrored faceplate, and you have a bunch of real estate in the front. So, you know, since it is metal, you could get magnets made, or you could wrap your booth if you decide you want to go that route. So, you know, that is the booth to go. And then also too, I'm really stoked to show you guys the new digital, uh, I'm sorry, the new props my wife designed also available on our website, photobooth101.com. And we're still not sure yet, right? So we want to get a neon sign right here. And it's something that has to be related with props. If you can come up with a slogan for us to, to make the neon light right here, that has the word props in it, we will give you some free props just for that. But so far, our favorite one is got props, question mark. So if you can come up with like a witty name or a saying and we end up going with it, we will give you guys some free stuff. But but yeah, photobooth101.com. We literally have everything you'll need to get your business going. And uh, let me turn this camera around really quick. I think the iPad booth is the best for a DJ because <clears throat> If you have a DSLR setup or a different type of photo booth, you're gonna have to be there. You're gonna have to make sure that everything is running smoothly because there's a lot more moving parts. With the iPad booth, everything is simple. Like it's your iPad, you buy your, so you basically you get your, you get your booth, whether it's the Deluxe Duo or the cheaper one that we have for 1400, you get your booth, you get your iPad, you get your software, you pretty much are good to go, right? If you're doing like a digital event, which to me, I don't know about you guys, but the future of photo boothing is clear that it's digital. I see so many people now, not even just myself, doing more digital events than print events. However, we still have a lot of people that want prints, 
So it's still a good idea to have a printer. And um, we do sell printers too, by the way. If you're interested, this is like my favorite photo booth printer. Um, and yeah, to me, it's it's clear that it's gonna be straight digital. And um, I do wanna know if you guys have any questions about anything, please let me know here. I know we've been already live for 15 minutes, but I really wanna make sure I can answer anyone's question. And you can be an outsider. You don't even have to be in the business. You can ask questions about what it's like starting the business, what are, whatever you, whatever you want to know. But um, another topic I wanted to talk about today is discounts. When customers are asking you for discounts, this is a topic that we touched upon on our podcast. That video will be uploaded, I don't know, in the next couple days. But the worst thing you can do, and I understand when you're brand new, you want to say yes to everyone and you're okay with giving a discount when you're starting off. But when you get into a place to where you're getting constant bookings and you have that, that, that one customer that's asking for a discount, it's not fair to your clients or customers, whatever you want to call them. Um, the ones that pay you your rate. So if you discount your prices, you're devaluing the people that are actually giving you your full amount and they're seeing what it's worth. Um, what I like to do is when someone asks for a discount, right? They, they say, well, you know, we want to, we want to add all of this. We want this, you know, we want you, you want, we want the drop off. We want the backdrop, the props and this and the prints, but this is our budget. Instead of, um, instead of just saying yes, how about you remove things from their package to fit their budget? So let's just say if they want five hours of prints, but their budget is only 450 bucks, you could be like, um, you know, well, that, that budget you have doesn't, um, it won't work for what you want, but we could bring the booth for two hours instead of five to fit your budget. Or you could say, we do have a pickup option if, if money is your only concern, um, like the main concern, we can definitely have the pickup option and you'll actually be a hundred, two hundred dollars under budget. And it's all about making them see the value because a lot of times people, and nowadays too, you know, um, I call it the offer up, uh, the offer up saga, you know, that app offer up where people literally will go, people sell things. And then if you want to buy something, you can search it and then lowball everyone. You're almost guaranteed to get someone to offer you something. So we live in a day and age where people are comfortable with trying to ask for a discount. So don't get mad. I, you know, it's, it's hard to hear when you first start, I don't even get upset anymore. I just, it's just part of the culture, right? People are, have that mentality. It doesn't hurt to ask, but on the other end, if you're a business owner and you're a struggling business owner, it kind of hurts when you ask, but, um, but yeah, so instead of just saying yes, just try to try to lower the price by removing things and force your client or the lead because they're not clients until they pay force the lead to see the value in it. So, you know, it's like one of those things. You can't have your cake and eat it too. Um, is that a saying? Is that how they say it? I don't know. But, um, you know, too, I do want to, I do want to touch on some, 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 uh, some sauce right here. I want to put you guys on, onto some, some game here because the photo booth business, the, the, <laughs> this is, this is tough. I, I'll just go ahead and say it. The photo booth business, I feel like looking at it now and seeing the actual, um, the growth in the direction of this business, I think it's really, really important nowadays to, to really try to start utilizing your full potential for your photo booth, especially for all of my iPad photo booth owners. Um, Danny's Tacos and DJ Service, I think I just passed your storefront. In Hacienda Heights. Yeah, Danny, that's us, man. You, you definitely probably passed by. We had a big old sign. We're off of uh, Kalima Road. Um, that's so funny. Um, what was I saying right now? Damn. Man, this is how scattered brain I am. Um, ah, yeah. So, like, look. When people get their photo booth, the first thing they, they start to think of is, how can I get my photo booth at an event? Right? How can I get my next wedding, my next corporate event. But there is a gem that nobody's talking about. And I'm 100% okay to talk about this. And I, it's not gonna affect me anyway, but it's called the permanent install. There are businesses willing to pay you a monthly fee for you to keep your photo booth there 
maybe every single weekend or every single day. And if you have an iPad photo booth, it's the perfect photo booth to do this. And why would a business even want this, right? Why would a business want an iPad photo booth? Well, if you understand your software, you could literally have it inside of a business. People can like, let's just say a restaurant, a barbershop, beauty salon, a place where they have customers coming in and out and businesses that rely on those customers to keep coming back for that business to be successful. So it is a number and email collector, meaning every time someone takes a photo booth photo in the business, they, they put their number or email to get the photo. The business can now every single month get those emails or phone numbers and start marketing, reach out to their customers to get them to come back. So think about it. If you have, if you're charging a business on the low end, 1500 to $2,000 a month, and you're able, let's just say each, every single day, maybe 25, maybe 30 photos from different users, you know, you got 30 different emails, that's about 300 emails in a 30 day period, right? Julie, what is up, Julie? Um, so imagine this, a business would be willing to pay for 300 and that's on the low end, you guys. Imagine a restaurant on a weekend, how many people they get in there waiting in line, taking a photo. So let's just say 300 um, potential customer, well, potential re repeat customers the business, if they close out on, let's just say, you know, 40 of those email, 40 of those emails they send out that could generate anywhere, depending on the business, you know, that alone can pay for the photo booth on the low end. So it's all about marketing and it's all about knowing what the photo booth can do. Also businesses are willing to pay that extra fee to have content for their social media. But you know, I know a guy that literally has 10 accounts. And he's making, uh, he's charging $2,000 every single month to these businesses with 10 of them. That's $20,000 a month. They're completely doing everything every day. They're turning on the photo booth. They're turning it off. Um, maybe he has to troubleshoot a few times if there's an issue, but that is easy money. And all he's doing is once a month going into the businesses He's making sure everything's kind of tidy and clean, even though it's the responsibility of the business. He's then sending them the emails, collecting his money, and then he's coming coming back the next month. While he's there, he's also doing updates. But, I mean, I love that, 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 that practice. Think about this. If you get a business to keep your photo booth for $2,000 a month, you do the daily, the daily average. I mean, what is the math on that? So let me bust out the calculator. I know we got some, some comments here. Mando the human, what's up? Yasmin, hi from NYC. Love it, love it, love it. Hi, I'm from Nigeria. Ah, oh, love that. Uh, Michael Montagna, pricing is so crazy in New Mexico. Pricing is crazy everywhere, man. You just have to look. You'll find similar pricing anywhere. Uh, Roman, with pickup, do you give them, <clears throat> them the photo booth which you sell or do you give them something less expensive? Or what are those prices for the pickup? Uh, do they also get the hotspot? Yeah, so the, for the pickup photo booth option for the rentals, I'm not using the deluxe booth. I am using the Digi booth. You guys, we have that booth on sale right now for $13.99. We have some overstock um, because we got the new deluxe duo in. So once we sell out of these uh, the Digi booths, the price is going back up to $17.99. So think about it. You can get your shell for $1,400. The iPad to go in there, you can use the 10th generation iPad. That can be about 400 bucks. So 1800 with tax and everything, $2,000. You have a booth ready to go for the pickup. And what I love about the Digi booth is parts are super affordable for replacements if you ever need one. All right, so let me get this calculator out here. I wanna make sure we could do the math here. So let's just say you do a permanent install, meaning you have a photo booth at a business every single month and um, divide it, but let's just do 30 days. That's like $66 a day for them to have that photo booth. That's cheap when you break it down per day. You know what I mean? Where, whereas if, if they wanted to rent it day by day, that could be a $400 rental or a $300 rental. So they're getting a discount by you leaving it there, but that's saving you a ton of time. And think about this, right? 2000, okay, man, I should know this off the top of my head. One account for a year at $2,000, right? 
We're gonna times that by 12. You guys, that's $24,000 for one photo booth. It is 100% doable and it's 100% worth it if you have an iPad photo booth. And, and let's just do the cost there, right? Let's just say you 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 do this and you wanna do the most affordable way. Let's just say 1,400 for your photo booth if you're buying one of our booths. And then uh, we're at 22,600, but there are more fees. 195, we're gonna minus 195 for your software if you're using Luma booth. And then insurance, um, we could easily just say 300 for the year for that. I mean, there's really not much more overhead, right? You're at $22,000 a year in profit. And then, okay, actually I didn't minus the iPad. So about 2,100, let's just round it down. You guys, there is opportunity here. You can even start doing festivals or the LA County Fair, or whatever fairs you have in your area and set up your photo booth and charge per photo. I know plenty of people doing that, making pretty good money, but you have to pick the right location. You know, I wouldn't do a flea market if there's just a couple hundred people, that's not worth it. If you're talking about thousands and thousands of people, you can charge $5 per print if you're doing prints. If it's a digital photo booth, you may have a little bit of trouble there. It might be a little tricky on finding the right pricing, but I knew a guy charging, um, he gave them like, he was doing it per, per, per minutes. I think he was doing like five minutes. You get to go in the booth, take as many digital photos, boomerangs or videos. And he was charging like five bucks. Like, so it was like a dollar a minute. I mean, I don't know how that was worth it for him, but that's what he did. But that is an opportunity. So I just wanted to hop on here and also share that info. Cause not a lot of people realize that the photo booth is also a marketing tool and businesses are more than happy to pay for that. Just think about this right? For the permanent install. How many times have you been into a restaurant and they have a keypad and they want you to put in your phone number so you can get rewards points? These businesses aren't giving you rewards points from the kindness of their heart. Come here. They're, they they want to give you those reward points so they have your phone number. They want you to keep coming back. They want to be able to, to send you messages and, and whatnot. Come here, buddy. Um, all right, let's keep this going. Um, I saw a, uh, I saw a permanent photo booth at a uh, melting pot restaurant. Love that. Uh, we got Ram media. Hi from Guam. I like watching your channel. I've started a booth from scratch as well. I also like seeing you doing your thing. Keep hustling. I love that, man. Shout out to my, my friend in Guam. Um, fun on the run. Are you still doing drop offs for yard games? No, the, the, the game, the yard game business has kind of faded out. I think the reason why has been because. A lot of these games are available at, at Target. You can find them at Big Five. Um, people are now realizing you can buy them for super cheap on um, Amazon. So I, I think the game business is kind of faded. Um, every once in a while, I'll use the game. And I'll use the games to close a photo booth deal. If I have a customer that's kind of on the fence of booking, maybe they're considering another person. They'll tell you too sometimes like, oh, there's this other company that's a little bit cheaper. I'm like, look, I can't match the price, but I can include the giant games for free. Will that work? So that's kind of what we're using the games for now. Roman, it's nice to hear that you can use emails and phone numbers for connecting customers again. In Europe, you are not allowed to do that. Yeah, here's the point. You can also too, you got to make sure especially in Europe. I know they have stricter stricter rules when it comes to um, d data collecting and mar marketing. But the photo booths, right, for the drop, for the uh, permanent installs, you can do a disclaimer saying, hey, by continuing and sharing your photo via text or email, you allow us to reach out to you for marketing purposes. And they have to accept that before moving to the next step. And that's kind of how you cover your butt. Um, Julie, Springfield, Virginia, love it. Photo booth 101 fam in the house. Julie, out of Springfield, Virginia, love it. Fan fave, does the software already support pay per picture option? Um, I don't know what you mean, support pay per picture option. Um, but if you're talking about being able to pay by card, no, it doesn't do that. He, the way he was doing it was, um, he was basically obviously taking cash. Um, also he was taking card, but with a little device on his phone. So that's, that's how he was doing it. So. Hi, comma. Yes. 
we can definitely send you one without it, period. But if you wanted to, you can always take it off yourself with a heat gun. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I, I know I'm one of those old people that text the top talk. A heat gun, period. The sticker is pretty easy to get off. I It's so much easier to do that. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but when I'm doing this, if I can save, you know, 30 seconds, I'll rather just do that. So um, appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for watching. My pleasure, my pleasure. But, um, you know, look, another way to make money with your photo booth business, right? It's renting out your equipment to other photo booth owners. Unpopular opinion, but, you know, you could definitely do that, especially nowadays. I mean, we, we, rent, we rent out equipment to other photo booth owners all the time. And one of the most popular things that we rent out is the printer because there's so many photo booth owners that you know want to just buy their photo booth do a digital only rental and they don't buy the printer and um i think i've probably made this year from this one printer a couple thousand bucks maybe maybe 15 to 1800 bucks so you can always you can always do that yeah uh, mando the human off topic favorite artist slash band of all time little wayne for sure. Little Wayne. It's either Little Wayne or um No, nah, it's it's Little Wayne. It's just when I grew up, like the time era, the the you know when you have that certain time in your life where you um you hear certain songs and it reminds you of like some of your favorite times ever. For me it was it was for him for him. Um but but um you know, another way to look, if you really, okay, if you really want to be successful in this business, you guys hear me say it all the time, it, it all comes down to getting leads. The more leads you get, the better, the better your photo booth business will do. And if you are in a position to where you get upset that a lead ghosts you, right? You, someone calls you, you give them the prices, they say they'll get back to you and they never do. You will only be upset because you don't have a lot of leads. The more leads you have, the less you start to care because the more you have, the more you close and the more you close, the more events you have. I don't get upset. Also, I'm in a, it's a great position to be in when <clears throat> you don't have to say yes to every customer. The power of saying no, it's so freeing and rewarding. Um, I see way too many new photo booth owners bend over backwards for clients, do things they, sh they shouldn't do or want to do because they're like, look, I need to make some money. And um, I mean, I guess I could talk about it here again. Um, oh my gosh. There is no flight case for this booth. Um, sorry, dog is here today. Um, all right, cool. I do. We got some new questions here. Uh, little Wheezy, have you ever worked a 360 event? Yes, we have. Uh, we do 360s now, but, but not a lot. We just, I've been doing it for the content. We'll have some stuff coming out soon. Um, do you do email marketing? Absolutely. Yes, we do. Uh, Mind Maze Photography. Um, please, can you recommend a printer I can use with my iPad Pro 12.9? The high T printer that we have on our website, photobooth one oh one dot com that is hands down the best hey come here go to bed okay go to bed go to bed slow-mo 360 effects uh that's my favorite part of this business there are a lot of different opportunities to make money there's so many ways man look i like at the beginning of the live i talked about the pickup the drop off the print events there's the uh white labeling you can make money white labeling me, me, hey, 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 come on. White labeling is where you have another photo booth company work an event for you. They're basically a one time employee for you. You get to keep the lead, meaning all of the fruits of that event, meaning all of the extra leads you get after it come back to you. You get a commission, you should be charging some. Um, that is the actually that might be the truest passive way to make money in this business is to white label. You can also white label for other photo booth companies. 
um, the pay per play session, right? You can rent your equipment out to other people. There's so many things you can do, man. Uh, you just have to be willing to explore and take a chance on um, these different methods of making money. So let me know if you guys have any other questions here. I don't know how much longer we'll be here, um, but I do want to make sure I, I get a chance to talk to everybody here. Um, but it does include travel bags for the booth so you can use the bags for transport. So, you know, <clears throat> if, if I were to just pick one way to get leads... Um, there's so many different ways, right? And I'll go, I'll go through all of the ways right now, but if I had to pick one, I am picking networking and that is probably the hardest way to get leads because it's not the easiest thing to do to get out of your comfort zone, to make connections and, you know, to be of value. But I'm talking about networking with venues, wedding planners, event coordinators. I'm talking about, um, other photo booth owners with DJs, mobile bartenders, the florists, the people making the cakes, anyone in the event space. It is absolutely the best way because I am thinking long-term and I'm trying to get you guys, I'm hoping that you're gonna start thinking long-term and that is a long-term move because I have relationships with other photo booth companies, with DJs, with wedding planners that are over five years old where they're constantly giving me business. And if you're thinking short term, that means that you're going on Facebook Marketplace, you're on OfferUp, you're on Craigslist, you're doing the things to get the next job to the next job, where once you stop doing those things, you, you stop getting business. But with the networking, it is something that will pay you until that person is no longer in the business or no longer likes you. So I'm thinking long term, um, there are ways to get events fast. Facebook market, I'm sorry, Facebook groups. This isn't something I would say to do only, but let's just say it's Wednesday, right? You look at your calendar, you don't have an event on Saturday or this week, this weekend. What you do is you go to your local Facebook groups, right, in your city, and you post, hey, Drew here from Drew's Photo Booth. We don't have a booking this weekend. If you have an event or party or know someone that is having an event or a party, let me know, willing to do a 30% discount X, Y, Z. So you can discount your services to get a booking quick and someone local. And that is like a, a little trick that, you know, we used to do in the past when we wanted to get an extra booking. So I know it's powerful. It definitely works. Um, um yeah. So, um, hey, from uh, Scotia? What is that? I've never heard of that. Scotia. Hopefully I said that right. Roman, one more off topic. Uh, do you know where in Slovenia um, you want to earn and have a nice time? Come to Slovenia and bring a, f a photo booth with you. I would buy it and you would enjoy Slovenia. That's funny. Um, I'll be honest, man. Um, there's a lot of other places I'd, I I want to go for first, but um, honestly, I don't even I don't even know what's in Slovenia. I'd have to look it up. To be honest, I've only I've only read it online, so I, I don't know. But other places I definitely want to go to for sure: uh, Korea, Japan. Um, I've been to China, Canada. We've been there. Mexico. We've been in there. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not ruling it out. I'm not ruling it out. I'll check it out for sure. Um, Fun on the run. Can you record a video on email marketing? Definitely. I can definitely do that. Uh, Julie, tips on coming up with a business name. Absolutely. This is going to be something hard to hear for those that have have picked a business name already. Um, and I'm guilty of this. I did, I did it the hard way a long time ago. Pick a business name that has two things. One, the word photo booth in it. You will be surprised how many people don't put booth or photo, I'm sorry, photo booth in their name. They'll put maybe the word booth in it or they'll put the word photo in it. But we're trying to pick a name that is Google SEO friendly. Meaning if someone types in photo booth, your, your chances is going up to get shown. But the second part is make sure you can 
try to attach a location to that name. So photo booth Los Angeles or Los Angeles photo booth already taken. I totally understand that, but you can find ways to do Los Angeles photo booth party or Los Angeles photo booth group, Los Angeles photo booth guys, whatever the case is. So if you're able to do that, you're setting yourself up to, to get more business on Google SEO. Um, also, you know, if, if you're picking a, a name, make sure it's radio friendly. You want to be able to hear, you want to be able to tell someone the name and have them be able to go search it online. Right. Cause you know, you never know what if you're at a party and someone's like, Oh, do you have business cards? And you're like, oh, I don't have one. They're like, okay, what's your website? It's, um, purple, purple rain booth, but rain is spelled R E I G N. That's going to be a little bit difficult for someone to remember, but if it's Los Angeles photo booth guys, that's a lot easier to remember. So I would say that, um, also to, to go back on the weight of marketing, um, it blows my mind how many photo booth owners do not have a Google my business page. If you learn anything from this live, go right away and start a Google my business page. It is literally a Google social media profile for businesses. Believe it or not, you've, you've probably already used Google my business and having, having even realized it. So let me just show you what I mean. Um, Yes, I have this in stock here in California, period. This is the version of the booth that we have here. Sorry, you guys, I got to multitask. One second. One second. It's the same booth, but the design is the one shown in the photo, comma, which people like better, to be honest. Um... I don't even mean to do that. Um, but um, yeah, so Google my business. Yep, Google my business. That is a place where you want to get reviews. Um, I can go on my phone and show you uh, what I'm talking about. That's what I was doing. So let's just go to Google. I'm going to type in, I'm going to type in photo booth. I was going to do a restaurant because you've probably seen it with a restaurant and haven't even noticed. So when you go to Google, right, I typed in photo booth, literally all of these companies are photo booth companies and it says the name, it shows the reviews. Um, yeah, this is awesome. This is really cool. Yeah. So Google my business. Um, it's, it's, it's a, it's a huge key that you need. Um, but uh, don't, don't apologize. Do your thing. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely one of those people that, um, I got a lot going on and sometimes I need to slow down and put the phone down and focus on what I'm doing. But, um, but we're live, you know, I mean, shoot, we've been here for 40, 43 minutes. It's really hard to, to just put the phone down for 43 minutes and, and, you know, run, run a few businesses, but, um, hustle with Drew, right? You guys, we have a new opportunity here. Um, this isn't photo booth related, if you go to the YouTube channel, um, one second, let me get to this question here. Gordon's, I can recommend anything from Drew store last year. I purchased three photo booths and they have been great. No issues at all, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. That means the world to me. Um, but yeah, if you guys can actually go to, go to Google type in photo booth one one And if you bought anything from us, or if you've learned anything from me, go to our Google, uh, my Google business profile and leave us a review. That would mean everything to me. Um, at the end of the year, we're going to do a raffle. We're going to pick one random review and we are going to send you guys a, uh, a hundred dollar store credit. So with that, you can get some props, you can have all that paid for, or if you want to get a backdrop, you can use that and apply it. So go to our uh, Google business profile, type in photo booth 101 and Google, leave a review and you are entered in there. Um, but okay. So then I have a business we are going to be launching in a few weeks. We are, we are creating our own honor boxes. 
If you don't know what an honor box is, I have plenty of videos I did about three to four years ago showing you how I was making money with these boxes. It's literally a cardboard vending machine. You have a, a box display that we have a charity we're tied to that we created. And the box has lollipops that you put in there. You can put about 50 lollipops in that box. Then there's a little compartment in the front for people to put money. So you leave it at a business, the customers take a lollipop, they leave a dollar. You can buy a hundred lollipops for $13 at Costco. So if you have a hundred lolly, if you have 50 lollipops in your box, that is roughly about five, six, no, it's about $6, about $6 and 50 cents for 50 lollipops. If everybody takes a lollipop and they pay for it, that's $50 in there. And that's about a $44 profit. However, you will see about $10 missing because not everybody pays for it, but that's still a killing. You can make a ton of money with these honor boxes. And what I love about this business is you can buy 10 boxes from us, right? For about 150, about 150 bucks. That is super cheap. That is super cheap. And that is going to be the rate, the, uh, the launch rate, the boxes are going to be worth more money, but I had some locations when I was doing this full time, I was making about $4,000, $4,000 a month from my honor box route. We were using a, a Sheridan systems. I don't know if they're in company anymore. It's like a breast cancer awareness charity box. Ours, our boxes is going to be the, my big dreams, my big dreams box. And that charity that we created is it's a charity for entrepreneurs for the youth. 19, 19 years old and younger, um, you know, every time you buy a box, you buy boxes from us, portion of that goes to the charity. And then every single box you own, there's a 50 cent per month royalty fee. So you can go into, you know, as an owner, you own your boxes. If the owner asks you a question, well, like, how does the charity get paid? Well, it goes, when we purchase these boxes, there is a percentage that goes to it. And then we pay a set, we pay a set fee per month to the charity, regardless if we're making money or not. So that is the trade-off. Um, what I love about the honor box business is there is, um, there it's a cash business and it's an easy business to do. Literally. What other business can you start for like under 200 bucks? You can have 10 boxes and it's like, like no joke. It can be anywhere from, let me do the math here. Cause I know the averages on these boxes and you guys, let me know if you have any other questions here. I'm, I'm more than happy to, to help out here. So on the low end, a really, really slow location could be about $25 a month. Let's just say you have 10 really slow locations. That's two fifty per month. However, I don't think small here. I, it, it, I've had some locations do my best location was like a 70, 60, $70 box that we had, um, maybe once every six days. It was crazy. So that'll be coming up soon. I'll, I'll announce it. You guys will see videos, but back to the photo booth because this is a photo booth live. Um, oh, Carolyn, love that. Shout out Carolyn. Okay. I just saw Gordon's. I wasn't sure who, who you were, but shout out to Carolyn, owner of some, some digi booths. That's awesome. Yeah. You got them at the right time. The price, the prices have gone up. So I, I'm glad you got your booths when, when it was a lot cheaper. So, um, back to the booths. I do want to mention, you know, with the photo booth game, the the hardest transition would be going from one booth to two photo booths. Um, everything else after that is easy. We went from one to 12 in one year, but the hardest one was getting that second one. It was that, that like, like, oh my, am I pulling the trigger too soon? Is this too, is this too fast? Or like, what if I don't get it rented out? But once we got the second booth and I started getting bookings for the second, I'm like, okay, well, I've already paid for the second booth. The third one is easy. The fourth one is easy. And believe it or not, the 12th one wasn't even that hard for us. It's the second one. Um, and when is the best time to know when to, to upgrade and get another booth? I think a good rule of thumb would be if you have the next few months booked, right? Maybe one week you don't have any events, but for the perceivable the perceivably i'm trying to use fancy words for the near future the next two to three months you have a lot of bookings and you noticed you're, you're getting double bookings 
then it's, it might be time to get that second booth so you could provide that service. However, if you don't have a second booth and you're getting leads on days where you're booked, never, ever, ever tell a customer that you do not, you're not available and turn them down. You guys should be networking with other photo booth owners. And if you buy a photo booth from us, you get access to the photo booth 101 networking group chat. A lot of people networking, handing off jobs when they're overbooked, but let's just say you have one booth and you get a, someone to say, hey, next Saturday, um, I need a photo booth, can you give me a quote? Instead of saying no, what you do is say, yes, here is the pricing. They say, okay, I'm ready to book. You just say, all right, let me just double check really quick to make sure we have it available. I'll call you back in two minutes. You hang up, you call Joe's photo booth down the street. Hey, Joe, we have a lead for this Saturday, are you free? Joe goes, perfect, yeah, I'm free, awesome. So this is the price. Again, just to make sure, you know, we're gonna be taking a $100 commission and the rest is for you. Perfect, you should already have this worked out. You should already network and know Joe's rates and that's it. You hang up the phone, Joe, um, you can call your client and say, Joe's gonna call you in a few minutes. Joe will, J Joe will walk you through the process and then that's it, Joe does the event. You handle the payment, you pay Joe, Joe go does all the hard work and you get to keep the lead. So, all right, um, what's everyone using for financing company financing companies to purchase the booth? I, I can't tell you for other companies, it depends on the company, but if you order from us and you want financing, it would be through PayPal. Slow Mo 360 effects, now Luma Booth added another way to make, uh, to make more money with the last update. What do you mean? To make more money? You mean with the DSLR? Uh, DJ uh, Dr. D, besides asking for photo booths uh, more and more for weddings, I find uh, I find that at bridal shows. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, okay, you're talking about the DSLR. I don't know if that's a way to make more money. To be honest with you, I I, I don't know. I don't I don't know if I can you explain that. What do you mean? How's that a way to make more money? It's a cool feature. Don't get me wrong. It's super cool. So let me see if, uh, um, okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, that way we can add a service to an existing photo booth. Well, I mean, I guess, but you're gonna need you're gonna need a new photo booth then, right? Because if you're using an iPad booth, unless unless you kind of rig it up to where you have your DSLR somewhere else. Hey, easy, easy, chats, chats. He sees somebody outside. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess so. But I personally, I don't think I'm gonna ever use that feature. The DSLR with the iPad, it takes away my favorite part of the iPad booth it's the simplicity now if you have to you have a dslr you have the body the lens the flash mount the flash it, it to me it's like what's what's the point you might as well just have a traditional dslr booth at that point i mean i guess you could you could say it's the software but luma booth has a, a sister company called dslr booth i mean i don't know it, it's it's cool for those that like the software i guess but to me i, I just don't see it as something that we'll want to do I would never leave a, a DSLR booth unattended anyway, so. Um, all right, so um, I guess I'm gonna wrap this up here. I, I really wanna say thank you guys for, for uh, tuning in. I can't believe at one point we had about 40 people in here. And make sure, again, if you wanna enter the free giveaway at the end of the year, all you have to do is go to Photo Booth 101's Google My Business page. Just type in on Google, Photo Booth 101. Leave a review. End of the year, we're gonna be raffling off a free $100 gift card to somebody there. So um, let's just uh, hit this last comment here. Slow Mo 360 effects. What I mean is, let's say we have a price just for an iPad. So with the DSLR, we offer a different level with the results to raise that price. I get you. Yeah, um, that makes sense. Uh, Scott, um, I want to start. What's the best to start with? Sorry, I'm late. All right, this is the last qu question here. I do gotta go. So Scott, definitely the iPad photo booth. It's gonna be the most portable option, the most simplest, the simplest to learn, 
and it will allow you to do a drop off, meaning you don't have to stay at events. However, when you first start, I recommend you stay at the first four events at least to get a feel of the business, to take photos, ask for reviews, hand out business cards. But the iPad photo booth is my favorite way. Um, you can go to photobooth101.com, Scott, to start. Um, if you want to schedule a virtual meeting to see the equipment, or if you're local to Hacienda Heights, which is close to LA, we do in-person appointments. But um, but yeah, that's that's to me is the best way to start. Uh, fun on the run. Thank you as well. We appreciate you. All right, you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, I will be uploading a video to the channel later today, hopefully, um, if not tomorrow for sure. So thank you guys. God bless. See you soon.